few marijuana. Uh, yes. Colorado's now the number one state in the country. It never was for youth marijuana That's use. That's not true. Uh, 2009, hold, hold in the hold same on. data, the, the it NISDA, was number one. The NISDA data since legalization, since legalization, mm -hmm. Colorado is now number one. And the only state survey, w which you all did, and I commended you for trying to do it, but it was you left out some of the biggest school districts. You also left out kids that had dropped out of school and weren't in school. Look, at the end of the day, Jim, and I brought some props, if that's okay, I think parents should ask themselves whether they can tell which bag of candy here is marijuana and which one isn't. You're not going to do the Skittles. Thing, well, right? I, you can try them if you want, Jim, but maybe afterwards. Um, if you can tell, if you can't tell, which you probably can't, I bet you your kid can't tell either. When these things are lying around, the reason the emergency room admissions in Colorado for kids under five and I don't think Andrew would dispute this, is, are, are, has gone up significantly, more, you know, doubled, is because these kinds of things are lying around. They're marketed, of course they're marketed to young people, and young people are ingesting them. They are essentially, again, one of them is real, one of them isn't. They are the, the real candy here simply sprayed with THC. New at 10, somebody steals a bag of what some believed were marijuana-laced gummy bears after a debate on the pros and cons of legalizing marijuana. You just can't make this one up. Our political reporter, Sharman Zaketi, obtained surveillance video you will see only here on Fox 25. Was it a case of the marijuana munchies? Somebody made off with a bag of gummy bears after the debate at the Edward M. Kennedy Institute. A representative from a national group against legalizing pot left the candy on a desk, and the theft is all caught on tape. I've obtained the surveillance video after the debate ended. Watch for the arrow. You can see a man walk over to the desk where the gummies were left and pick them up and drop them into a woman's bag. The man walked over and briefly spoke to the campaign manager for the group in favor of legalizing marijuana. Then he left. Now, during the debate, the person who left them there had held up two bags of candy and asked the audience which one was infused with marijuana and which one wasn't. This is a sig significant public policy debate, and we're doing juvenile stuff like this. I don't know. I'm just, I, it just, it, I guess it doesn't surprise me. I did reach out to the spokesman for the campaign to regulate marijuana like alcohol. He tells us why is he even allowed to possess illegal items and why wasn't he responsible in his possession of them. At 1130 tonight, we are taking a closer look at ballot question four, which seeks to legalize marijuana for adults. We'll be talking more in depth with those who support legalization and tomorrow we'll be speaking with those who oppose it. Sharman Sacchetti, Fox 25 News. And late tonight, the person who did use those gummy bears as a prop did get back to us to tell us there was never any marijuana lace candy in that bunch.